It's time for another election. This year, New Yorkers vote for a mayor, comptroller, and public advocate a week after the Big Apple suffered its deadliest terrorist attack since 9-11. Tell those eight people that were killed, mowed down, and those other 15 people that were seriously hurt that we cannot uh, surveil people, we can't monitor people that are suspected of being involved in terrorism. This political correctness sucks, and we have to stop it. Again, to me, the safety of the New Yorkers and Americans are at stake here. Bo Deedle is the independent mayoral candidate. As a retired NYPD officer and detective, private investigator and entrepreneur, Mr. Deedle's qualifications are unique. Look at Bo Deedle, high school graduate. I didn't go to college. I would have loved to go to college. I had to work. I worked as an yeah. iron worker. You see the pictures up there on the top there. You see on the top? That's me on there with all the muscles yes. there. That's on the World Trade Center downtown as an iron worker. Wow. I worked my butt off. I'm very successful. Where kids can look at me, where you have the opportunity to do anything you want, shoot for the stars. I hope they say to themselves, wow, this guy is somebody I want to lead this city. This guy will help my kids. This guy will help me get affordable housing. All I have is a caring heart, and I do cry. I still cry at funerals, and I cry when I see dead kids. you got to remember, my last case was the Palm Sunday Massacre. Hmm. Ten Puerto Ricans. Eight of them were children under the age of 12 years old, yeah. all shot in the head. Vivid memories of those kids being shot in the head, and I cried. Does that still keep you up at night? It doesn't keep me up, but I think about it. Yeah. And that's what I want to prevent, and I want to help the people of New York. That's who's running for mayor. A caring guy against some egotistical, thieving, corrupt, pay-for-play guy who wants to get reelected. That's your choice. Deedle blames Mayor Bill de Blasio for the rising homeless rate, up 39% since last year, and division in the community and within his former police department. You know, there's a reason why cops turn their back on him during the funerals. Yeah. They don't respect him. Nine out of ten cops said they would find another job tomorrow because of him, that they feel as though they don't have the support as mayor. While rape crime has climbed 16.7% in October, the NYPD reports a significant 18% reduction in murders, 225 homicides year to date, including last week's terror attack. That's on pace to be the lowest murder rate since the 50s. Aside from security, commuters are struggling with widespread MTA delays. A recent IBO report indicates upwards of a 237% increase in in monthly delays and a massive economic impact, costing riders $1.23 million in lost work. Uh, I believe that we should support the governor's $850 million emergency plan to fix the signals and the tracks. I think the city should contribute some money towards that with a guarantee that any city money goes directly to specific projects. We pay more federal taxes than anybody else most of our $56 billion more goes out than comes back in terms of federal goods and services. Why can't we balance some of that for our MTA, for our health and hospital services, for our homeless problems? We've got to solve these problems, and simple, you know, raising taxes is not going to solve that problem. All New York City residents received this nonpartisan voter guide in the mail. It contains brief information about all the candidates on Tuesday's ballot. In addition to the mayoral election with Mayor de Blasio seeking a second term against Republican challenger Assemblywoman Nicole Maliotakis and independent candidate Bo Deedle, borough president and city council members are on the ballot. Our substantive and full interviews with Mr. Deedle, Comptroller Scott Stringer, and Heats Republican Challenger, Reverend Michael Faulkner, are on neilacaruso.com. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, I'm Neil A. Caruso.